Hey, how's it going everybody? Scott Dog Game here. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we're about to start playing a new game. Movie Studio Boss, available on Steam as of yesterday, the 17th of December. Um, it's about £6 in the UK, so I guess around $10 uh, in the uh, in the States. Um, and uh, it's not a game I've played yet. I've started it. I started a save game. I quit out straight away. Um, so I thought I'd bring you as much as I can. I just need to amend some of the settings um, so let's bring some of this down as well. Um, not a great deal to do in the settings. You've got obviously your resolution, etc. You've got your sound, as you've just seen, and a few options in the uh, in the gameplay. But we won't worry too much about those. Um, okay, so let's get straight into it. We're going to start a new game. We're going to leave it on easy because it's bloody hard, from what I understand. Um, oh, I can't type. SDG Productions. Obviously, we won't bother with the tutorial. I mean, why would we do such a thing? And here we are, we are in Studio Land. Uh, and obviously the object of the game is to uh, to outperform your uh, rival studios by producing better films that make more money than them. Um, rival productions, obviously you've got Prestige, Unique, Multi Mega, and a few others. Um, and as you can see at the moment, everything is set to zero. Uh, the way the game works, the way you make films, is you basically progress from left to right, and then from right to left. So uh, these are, are obviously bits of information, so we don't worry too much about those, our financial position, etc, etc. And as you can see, up in the top corner here, we have one billion dollars. Um, okay, so what we need to do is, once you've done that, you can then start working through these, producing the, uh, the script, finding a director, doing a few other bits, hiring the actors, um, filming, adding the special effects, going into production and releasing. Um, that's basically the process of making a film. So let's get one underway, shall we? Uh, we get to choose a setting. Uh, as you can see, there's not a huge amount of, of different areas. We'll go with space. We'll go with space. Oh. Space. Space. Space, space. Space, space. Why not? What an amazing film this is going to be. Uh, we need to choose our levels of action, comedy... Um, drama, etc., etc. Um, so we obviously want it high in sci-fi. Um, maybe one little cheeky suspense, but uh, you know we'll keep it fairly, fairly open apart from the sci-fi setting, which needs to be high. Uh, you choose your quality of film, and then you can choose how long you can take to shoot it. So we're going to go 45 weeks, and you can choose your budget. So we'll go three million pound dollars, even three hundred million dollars, even. Okay. Um, so there's our film. We're going to go to make this film. So as you can see, we're now producing Space Base in the top left-hand corner here. Um, the weeks don't progress until you hit the progress button down here. So that's good news. You can take your time on each one. Uh, script writer. So as you can see, we need to hire a script writer. We want him to be the best he can be. Um, and this is what we've chosen for our, our film. So we need to try and find someone who, who matches that, essentially. So... Looking along the list, obviously you want to marry up the things that you've got. He does quite a good job across the board, so let's see if we can get Marion too good. And there he is, he's in. Now we need a director again, we need to find someone who does well across the board on all these levels, so ideally we'd like someone with a 5 in sci-fi. Good lord, Petra Gorky is pretty impressive right across the board film isn't ambitious enough for, for Petra. Of course it isn't Petra. Okay, we might go with maybe this. Hmm. I'm guessing it's not ambitious enough for... Oh, I clicked on someone else then, halfway through. Um, okay. Need someone with good sci-fi. And I'm guessing their personality comes into it as well. Um, Thomas Singleton, no. Not ambitious enough for you either. What about this one here? Why? Oh, it's just not ambitious enough. What, what do you mean it's not ambitious enough? Do you know how much ambition I'm throwing at this thing? God damn it. Oh, I guess we're going to have to find someone lower down the pecking order. Um, we've already tried them. Oh, there's quite a big jump in... Uh, in level of ability. Well, this isn't good, is it? Can I not go back and throw more money at it? Surely that's the answer to all of Hollywood's problems. Mm. 
Max aside. No, not ambitious enough for you. Well, of course it's not. Max. Oh, man. Need someone with good ambition here. Uh, we're good sci-fi. I feel like that's going to be one of the most important things. That's not great, is it? Don't think you can sort by anything, which is quite disappointing. Uh, getting back down to where we were, where everyone said, uh, no, I don't want to make your crappy film. Sod off. What about... Oh, come on, Mario. It's going to be a good film. What's wrong with you? Ah, oh, this film needs more content. What are you talking about? I'm basically just trying to copy Star Wars. What is wrong with you? Oh, man. We're going to have to get someone crap. Someone who can't do whatever that was. Drama. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Someone who can't do action. Oh, my God. Oh, they're considering offer somewhere else. This is ridiculous. Oh my god, I need someone who can do sci-fi. Frank, I know you can't do action. That could be a problem, but you're in. Uh, okay. What are we doing here? Script development. Um, so, basically, you've got your script development being worked on. What does this do? Not a lot. You've got your script development being worked on, and then you need to progress through weeks to... Uh, to write the script. I don't think you can do anything else until you've done this. So, as you can see at the moment, it's it's working its way up as we progress for a week at the bottom right here. Uh, the cost is going up, the script quality is going up, um, and now we're up to an A, we're back down to a C. Oh dear, this isn't good. Uh, I'm gonna go with an emergency rewrite. And there we go, we're back to an A. We are back to an A. Okay, let's let's keep it there. Look at all these people. What are they all doing? Um, okay, now what? We surely we're good. Green light the script. Go pre-production now. Bit of music tells you you've done the first part. We're now into to hiring our actors. Uh, now you can only hire actors that are available, uh, which doesn't look good news for us some funny alien music going on in the back of my uh, headphones um, okay this doesn't look great so we're looking for an actor who can do as much stuff as, as we need across the board with the sci-fi but it looks like most of the actors have been taken up Mike Charles isn't available which is really annoying also the scroll buttons don't work which is quite annoying uh, does, no, none of that stuff works um, which is a bit of a, a kick in the teeth. Um, not as much as a kick in the teeth as to finding an actor who can act in our film. Because essentially, they're all crap. Um, oh my god. He wants more money. And he's crap. Let's, uh, let's end. See if we can find someone different. $17 million dollars for... Ben and he's not even available. Doesn't even look that good. There's John Deep. Maybe I should have made an adult film. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh my god, the choice is just shite. William Satchel isn't available. And I mean he was my first choice for the film. God, there's just a huge pile of crap. He's not available. Um, don't know where we go from here, if I'm honest with you. Everything available is shocking. We've got no one who's going to excel in our film. Um, it doesn't help that you can't filter out the people who are unavailable, so every time you see someone, you think, ooh! Uh, well, I'm guessing we're going back to this fella. There we go. Florian Salzi. You're in. Now we need to find an actress. Yes, Ursula, in you come. Oops, that didn't go so well. 
I needed to hit the offer button. I need to find Ursula again. Where is she? Where is she? Oh no, I've lost her. Oh no, maybe it's someone better. Doesn't look like someone better. No, it looks like I'm, I'm out of luck here in the uh, hiring an actress straight stakes as well. Ursula, 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 Ursula. I really wish there was a search button or uh, uh, you could scroll um, or anything else. I don't even know if her name was Ursula. Now I've come this far. Oh man. Hmm, Jen Coleman can do what we needed to do, I guess. To be fair, I get the feeling that we need someone to pull this movie out of the mire that it's already in. She's not she's not particularly high rated. Oh dear, Frank's not happy. Our director wants someone better. Well, here we go. There we go, so we've got our two um Actress and actresses, is that right? Um, and now we need to find a director of photography. Um, I don't know what these 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 seems to have changed. Um, Francis. Uh, oh, he's he's been taken. Okay. Um, Yes, we know you're expensive, but yes. Okay, we're going to go with that. And we're going to make it a super format 3D. Cheers. Okay, um, we need to hire some um, supporting cast, so... I wish you could sort. I mean, it would just make it so much easier. God damn it. Okay. Colin Eastman. Thanks. An actress. Actor. So we're just... Picking the people that we think would fit in best in the film. So we need some other areas covered as well. So we've been focusing mainly on our um, our sci-fi stuff. Maybe we need to focus a little bit on the uh, on the other things we're looking for. I mean, ideally, you'd find someone who covers all of the bases. But as you can see, it's quite tough. In fact, it's very tough. Is everybody making sci-fi films? Is that what's happened? Oh, who did I just... I oh, don't know who I just hired there. I'm not sure it was the one I wanted to. Okay, so there's our list of, of everybody else hired. What do we need here? We need makeup artists. I mean, it seems silly not to go for the most expensive ones. And we need to choose a uh, costume level. So let's go costume level three. 
Okay, so we're done there. Now what happens? Oh, pre-production. We need to do that. Okay, so... This is just making sure we're happy. Oh, hold on. Do we need to... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Ah, uh, this is what we... The script demands two supporting. So we've got... Oh, uh, we've got eight. I'm guessing we didn't need eight. Let's get rid of some of these. Okay, so we've got five supporting, supporting and 26 extras. I can do better than that. You can have 30, mate. You can kill some off. Okay. There we go. So the rest of the cast is hired. Let's start filming. Here we go. So as you can see, we're at week 45. So we've gone in pro into production. Um, it's going to take 45 weeks, supposedly. However, I think you can... There's a little news look. Blue, new Wilson signs actress. Okay. Um, so as you can see, we're ticking through. One thing I want to just have a little look at over here is... As you can see, this film's already been produced and are out doing stuff. Is it over here you can see? Oh, no, we can't do that. Um, okay. So let's keep clicking through. Um, so it looks like we're behind schedule. We haven't done anything. Oh, my Lord. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Let's keep going. Come on. We're there. We're there. We are done. We have made our film. <clears throat> it's particularly exciting. Let's just come out of this a little bit and go back in because hopefully that will square us up. So we need to add some sound. 15 million for good sound. It seems like the right thing to do. Um, okay, I'm guessing I can't do anything until I've hired the rest of these. We need good sound. That's official. All... All... Um, Space films need good sound. We need a good sci-fi director. Tom Fan, you're in. Need some music? Hire a composer. Come on, good epic space music is what we want. There you go, he's in. CGI. Got to go for the expensive CGI, haven't we? Special effects. Definitely need to go for the, the good special effects. Uh, and now what? Now what? Post-production, here we go. So, we go through the, uh, so I think that's the best we're going to get. Let's set it for release. There we go. So our film is now being released and we can come over here. And I think you go into this. Oh, no, you don't. You go into this and you choose your... Um, choose your marketing budget. I don't know what this would be. I mean, it would be nice to have some idea of to what kind of marketing budgets. Um, let's go for a, a wide release. Super format, we need that in. Oh. Apparently that's all we can, is it? I'm guessing. Okay. Let's do a test screening. Overall, m oh dear. Uh, look at the sound though. The sound did well. Um, so yeah, they don't think it's great. I don't think. But let's let's go back into. Let's do a web review. Okay, they're not impressed. Um, look at this. This isn't good. Um, so I'm guessing we just release it. I don't. I don't really know. I don't know how how we do any more than hitting OK. Um, going over here, as you can see, it's been released, and then we work our way. Now I can't really see what these say. Um, to be honest with you.
I mean, we're quite a lot in debt. The year has ended. Here's how we're doing. Um, most turn of 86 million, most uh, profitable. Minus 316. We're not too far away from the other people in there, so it's maybe not too bad. Let's um, go for a worldwide release, I guess, maybe. I don't know. Um, wide? Yeah, why not? I mean, it's not doing very well, but sod it. Get out there. So it seems to be... Uh, seems to be doing okay, you know. Well, it's being produced, I guess. Let's skip through a few weeks. We're... we're 28% in there, we're, uh, uh, yeah, we're, you know, I mean, it's still shit, don't get me wrong, but, as you can see, as it goes along, I mean, it's not really doing a great deal anymore in the UK, uh, sorry, in the US, uh, nor worldwide, uh, let's set it for a DVD stroke Blu-ray release, why not? Fifty K number of units. How am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to know? Um two million. Yeah, why not? What's what's this shite? Um Okay, I genuinely have no idea what I've just done. The year has ended again. We've made one film. We're not about making lots of films. We just want to make one good film. Which is unfortunate because we haven't managed to do that either. But let's have a little look at the Blu-ray sales. I mean, they're not really doing great. The, uh, the world sales aren't doing anything anymore. Um... Not really doing so much at the cinemas. Um, so I'm assuming if we went back to this one and looked at our current position, um, I mean, they've got a lot of turnover. We've only made one film, to be fair. Um, no awards, no nothing. What we're basically saying is that we are shite. Um, so there you go. I wanted to bring you this, let you have a little look at it. My honest feeling is that um, it's not great. There's certain things that need to be done to make it a little bit better. You know, And once you've made one film, what do you do from there? You go back, you make another, and you hope you can get get some people in. I'll maybe do another episode if you guys uh, if you guys want to watch it. Um, then great. If you want to see some more of the game, maybe we'll focus a little bit more on making sure that the movie we make is the best movie we can make. Um, but essentially, you know, this is this is where we are. You run through the the news. There's not a great deal more to look at. As you can see, we've got nothing really going on here. We've got some news um, about the uh, the sales. Not a great deal of a of information there. I think there's a newsstand here which tells you uh, what's going on with the other companies, but you know, not really that exciting. Um, Budget-wise, bit of information. We're in debt. You know, that's pretty much it. Well, we've got money, but we're we're not doing so well. Um, that's pretty much it. That's all there is to it. You'll go for it again. Make a different film. Um, you know, there isn't anything to really sink your teeth into, if I'm if I'm honest. But uh, you know, if it's if it's your kind of game, then check it out. It is on Steam. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, follow us on Twitter at Scott.Gaming. See you again soon. Thank you. Got to be just through this tree, hasn't it? There it is. So I've only got one move I can pull on this dinosaur.